Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Roadrunner, a film about Anthony Bourdain. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links are in the description. But most importantly, Joan and I were on BitChute and Rumble. We have two other videos at least each day. Please subscribe to us there. I'm trying to get away from YouTube. It sucks. They won't monetize us anymore. Look at this sad face. Sad face won't get monetized anymore. Now, Anthony Bourdain. Uh, I used to watch his show all the time, so I am totally into seeing this uh, documentary about him because, like a lot of people, I was shocked when he killed himself. Spoiler alert, in case you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, he killed himself. Um, he had been, I think he had been a former drug addict. Uh, definitely was part of this sort of very hip kind of punk scene in the cooking world, in the cuisine world, then wrote a best-selling book. And uh, the next thing you know, he became a TV show host and was doing these amazing shows. But even as he was doing these shows, there were conflicts on the shows that were mostly behind the scenes. Um, and that's what I'm most interested in. I want to see, you can, you can just see it in his face how conflicted he is. Right? You can see it in his face. There was something going on with him. I'm not sure what. And, um, you know, he had a lot of interesting friends. He was, he was, he was in the art world and music world. And uh, he traveled all over the world. Um, so, yeah, I'm totally down to see this movie. Roadrunner. It's, uh, it opens July 16th. Uh, there it is in theaters. Uh, and I think it would also be a good movie to see in theaters because he goes to a million exotic locations on his TV show. On top of that, they're going to show clips of the show you probably haven't seen before. And the show was shot for television and for movies, right? So it's not like a regular sort of documentary where you're going to get not enough footage, you know, and you got to cut in a lot of voiceovers and interviews and whatnot. I think this is going to be probably pretty in depth if they've got clips of the old show and you're going to get to see the behind the scenes stuff which is going to be pretty cool um but of course the big gorilla in the room and you got to answer the question is why did he kill himself you got to give us you know some tidbits of information was he depressed what what was going on in his life at that at that time and that's what a lot of people are going to be interested in now in terms of screenwriting a uh, documentary is a different animal. You want to, um, you know, you don't, you don't want, it's not like a narrative where you're just making stuff up, obviously. But you can sort of gear the footage. You know, you often come up with a theme in a documentary to tell a story. In this case, you're telling a story about a successful guy who ended up his own life. You know, there's kind of no other way to go. You know, it's kind of like, the classic rise and fall, and and why, and you get into the why and who he is, and then the the story sort of emerges on its own. But from a screenwriter perspective, you know it's pretty it's pretty research heavy. You know you got to see the interviews, you got to see the footage, you got to know the subject matter, um, and you got to write around that. You know because you can't obviously you just can't make stuff up. You got to know what it is and then you're describing it you know anthony was born and blah 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 dur during this time of the 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 period in our history and here's where he went from a to b and here's why and yeah you put some adjectives in there but you try not to overwhelm it you don't you don't let the subject matter you let the subject matter speak and direct the story not the other way around you're not in control really you know, it's Anthony Bourdain's sort of uh, platform. Oh, you all right? Right, little Joan? So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be uh, one not to miss. I, I, for one, will be in the theaters on July 16th. Roadrunner, Anthony Bourdain. Uh, tragic loss.